Hey DIYers, Jared here from Alarm Grin. Uh, today we're going to be going over if you can use a Honeywell 5828 keypad with the GC3E. Uh, the answer is no. Unfortunately, you can't use that keypad with the GC3E uh, for a few reasons. Um, one of them being the house ID setting that the 5828 keypad needs. Um, that is not a feature that is built into the GC3E. Um, you cannot set any devices to a specific house ID on this panel, so that keypad will not be compatible with this with the system. Now we know that the GC3E can use Honeywell 5800 series sensors. Now those are um, basically sensors that are communicating in one way or one direction. Um, the 5828 keypad not only uses the house ID setting, but it is also a bi-directional device, which means that it's communicating to the panel and then the panel is communicating to that keypad. Um, so they're both in constant communication together. The GC3E does not support this type of Honeywell devices. Um, if it's a bi-directional device, it is not going to be able to be used with this panel. So unfortunately, the uh, 5828 keypad is just not going to be compatible with the GC3E. Now, if you wanted something that is going to be similar to the 5828 keypad, then you can use the 2 gig pad 1-345 keypad. Um, it's, it's also a touchscreen keypad, or not touchscreen, it is a touchpad keypad. Um, has the push buttons and everything, just kind of, kind of like the 5828. Um, it doesn't look the same. But if you wanted to use basic functionality as in arming and disarming the system from a different uh, part of the house, uh, really nothing more than that is in like controlling automation or changing certain settings, then that keypad is going to be the best one to use. It's a simple keypad and it just basically allows you to arm and disarm the GC3E. Now, if you didn't want to use uh, just that basic keypad, then you can use um, a touchscreen keypad with the GC3E. There are two available, actually. Uh, you have the 2 gig SP1, and then you have the 2 gig SP2. Um, the SP1 is going to be more of a feature-rich uh, touchscreen keypad um, than the SP2, as, well, basically because it comes with the uh, voice enunciation feature if any of the doors or windows were to be opened. Um, you can control certain automation settings, and um, you can go ahead and control other certain settings within the panel as well. Um, you're not going to be able to do full programming within those keypads, but it does give you a little bit of functionality, a little bit more functionality. Um, now the SP2 keypad, it's not going to be as feature rich as the SP1. You can't really control any of those automation devices through it, um, and it doesn't have the voice enunciation. Uh, you, you will still have the chime feature, so if the door opens you hear that uh, at least you can hear the chime but you won't be able to know exactly which door, which window is being opened as, uh, unless you were using the SP1. So those are the other keypads you can use with the GC3E. Um, now some other things you want to keep in mind though about the 5828 keypad is that it looks like this. This is a uh, 6150 keypad, but this is essentially what the 5828 keypad looks like. Um, now this keypad is mainly used with Honeywell alarm systems that are able to use the house ID setting and then can communicate bi-directionally with this type of device. Now, uh, the systems that it can be used with are the Honeywell Lynx touch panels and then um, a Honeywell Vista panel that's using a certain transceiver um, so that it can go ahead and communicate with it. And that answers the question on whether you can use a 5828 keypad with the 2 gig GC3E. Uh, if you have any further questions about the 2 gig GC3E or alarm systems in general, please reach us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications of future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. You have a great day.